I'm Don Coppage, owner of Protect a Child Pool Fence Company. With 26 years of mesh pool fence manufacturing experience, I want you to know how to differentiate between fences. In my hands are two different mesh pool fences. One is the strongest available. The other, you might not trust. But as a parent, how do you tell the difference? Many people think that it's all about the mesh. Fact is, mesh has little to do with pool fence strength. The reality is it's the post that supports the mesh that truly matters. And here's where you'll find major differences. Post strength is all that prevents your child from knocking the fence down and falling into the pool. You see, when a child bumps into the fence three feet off the ground, that force is leveraged and concentrated right at the base, where the bottom screw hole has actually weakened the post. Fence posts not engineered to withstand this pressure snap clean off. Stay with us. We'll show you how mesh pool fences perform when children play on the patio. We'll also talk to a mom who has had a fence up for her children for five years and get her perspective. Then we'll do some side-by-side -side testing of the most common fence posts to see how they compare. Our hope is that you'll become better educated about mesh pool fences and your child will be safer as a result. Here you see a typical mesh pool fence installation. This fence happens to be a protected child pool fence and you can see that it's taking quite a beating. Let's talk to the owner and see how this fence has held up. Hi. Hi. Thanks for talking to us today. Sure, I no see problem. the kids are having a great time. How many children do you have? Four. Four kids. Mm -hmm. And how long has the fence been up? Uh, five years. And how well has it held up for you? Great. It's held out perfectly. They bounce off of it and they put some stress on it and it's been, it's done great. I'm great. happy with it. Great. How old are they? What are their ages? Four, five, eight, and my 10 year old is not here. My goodness. Well, you see what a great job this fence has done. Uh, with your permission, let's take a look at another fence and see about how well it holds up. Okay, great. There we go. All right, guys. My goodness. Well, uh, let's talk to our mom now and see how the fence held up. Wow. <laughs> well, what do you think? No, no, no. I don't like that one yeah. bit. No. <laughs> well, we can kind of tell what happens with a, uh, other brands of pool fences. Uh, what did you think about that fence? It's horrible. I can't, I can't believe it broke that quickly. That's scary. And that what would you me. tell other moms about what kind of fence you're, you'd like to buy? Uh, protect a child. I think that's the only fence you need to get. I don't think there's any question about it. Absolutely. Well, we've seen the difference in these two fences. They look alike, but are actually very different in the job they do. There's really only one way to fairly compare post strength. So let's figure out why the kids were able to knock one fence over so easily and why the protected child pool fence has held up for this mother for so many years. Now let's remove an unbroken post from the import fence that the children knocked down right away. This fence uses a common Y extrusion for its post. It wasn't very impressive. You can see where and why these posts break. With these fence posts, the weak point is always right at the base where the bottom screw hole has been drilled and weakened the post. Regardless of whether the why it goes all the way to the top of the post doesn't matter. There's no straightening a bent X or Y post. Once it's bent, it's done. Just how strong or weak was this post? Using the test method just described, let's see how this post measures up.
You'll also notice that they snapped clean off, always at the bottom screw hole where the hole in the metal has weakened the post. At 42 pounds, I'd say that's your reference for what you don't want. Let's test Protected Child's double wall aluminum post. This tan colored post is the same as those in the fence that children couldn't knock down. Screw holes in place, 36 inch height, turn properly and position so I don't fall in the pool. much stronger. At 62 pounds, this is a huge improvement over the weak 42 pound Y post that children knock down so easily. Now let's test Protect a Child's Premier Line composite fiberglass post with solid fiberglass insert. These are the only posts that carry an unlimited, unbreakable warranty, and you'll soon see why. Notice I can lean all my weight the very top of a single support post and it easily supports my 170 pounds. When I let go, it stands straight up. This is why our fiberglass post fence is guaranteed to never bend, break, or become crooked. We pulled this post to an amazing 93 pounds of force, way past the point where all other aluminum posts snap clean off, and they aren't even bent. This is why Protect a Child's Premier Line fence with composite fiberglass posts are guaranteed unbreakable. Let's test some other common pool fence support posts found in the mesh pool fence industry to give a good industry-wide basis for comparison. This is one of the most common X posts you'll see from many manufacturers. Wall thickness here is 050 inch or about 1 20th of an inch. Strength isn't much different from the 42 pound Y post that children knock down so easily. This is another variety, this time with a Y extrusion. Like the others, the bottom screw hole causes these posts to snap off. Again, similar strength to the weak Y post that children knock down so easily. These are the various readings of the posts we tested. Remember, 42 pounds was all the strength we got out of the fence post you saw the kids snap easily. By watching children play around a mesh pool fence, we've seen the need for strong fence posts. The side-by-side -side testing gives you a good frame of reference as to comparative fence strength. We hope this will help you make a more informed pool safety decision.